Hey, Patrick with the Kentucky Gun Company. If you're a fan of double action revolvers, especially in the larger frame, then you're familiar with the GP100. This gun's been around since the 1980s, and there hasn't been a whole heck of a lot of updates with this thing in the past uh, several years. That is until now. New for 2016, Ruger has brought out the GP100, now in 22 long rifle. Let's talk a little bit about the features of this gun. First of all, this is Ruger's largest double action 22 uh, long rifle revolver. It's full size GP100 frame. This is one that's in a 357, just to give you an idea of the size. So it's a true, uh, you know, full size GP100 frame. Having a five and a half inch barrel, it's topped off with fiber optic sights, has a crown muzzle, adjustable rear sights in the rear, basic cl classic uh, white outline square sights, left and right uh, windage, and also has elevation adjustments on it. Has the classic GP100 grips. You know, this gun's been around since the 80s, and this is, I believe, this is kind of the original grip that this gun originally came out with. Uh, it hasn't been available for the past couple years or several years, but they've brought it back out for this particular uh, revolver. It's a full-size grip. It's not a small or medium grip. I mean, it's the true full-size GP100 grip. Again, double action, so we have the swing-out cylinder, 10-round cylinder. And take a look at this beauty. This thing is completely stainless steel. So stainless uh, frame, stainless barrel, stainless cylinder. Now this gun comes in right at 42 ounces. It's not a light one out there and it's not designed to be light. It's designed to give you the look and the feel, again, of the full size GP100 that Ruger's always been known for. Um, the barrel on it is a half lug barrel or semi lug barrel. We're gonna compare this. I just wanna show you guys the other main competitor in this size revolver is gonna be the Smith & Wesson 617 with the full lug. I, you know, I personally like the full lug, but what they've, Ruger has done, and I suspect they've done this to help lower the weight and you know, increase the balance a little bit better, is uh, done with a half lug or semi lug barrel. You know, a lot of guys have uh, already started to order these on the uh, on our internet site. We have sold probably 40 or 50 of them in the past week, and they just started shipping. So I know there's a huge demand for them. But a lot of my, a lot of my customers have been asking me, you know, why is this gun just now introduced? This thing's been around since the 80s. Why do you need, you know, why are they just now bringing out a 22 revolver? My suspicion is, and I could be wrong, and I'm wrong many times, but if you go into any gun store in the United States, you're going to have a hard time finding this Smith & Wesson 617. Uh, you know, a full-size double-action swing-out cylinder 22 revolvers with 10-round capacity are pretty hard to find. They're just, uh, you just don't find, uh, sit on the shelves. They just don't sit there that long. And I have a feeling that the GP100 is going to be the same way. You know, this is going to be an in-demand firearm probably for the next uh, couple of years. They're probably not going to be able to keep up demand with them. So if you see one on the shelf, you see one available at your local gun store, uh, or even on our website at kygunco.com, snag these because these will not stick around. So we've showed you the uh, features, we've showed you the gun, we did a little bit of comparison on some of the competition and also the existing GP100 out there. Now we're going to go fire it in the range and you guys can see how it performs. Okay, we're here in our range. Today we're going to be using Federal uh, Blue Box 22 uh, long rifle, just average stuff. I'm going to be curious to see how this thing ejects too, because you know, it's, you got 10 rounds of 22 in there, and sometimes these uh, 22 revolvers have a tendency to be a little sticky. We'll see how this one works. All right, 10 rounds. We're gonna do all single action first, then we'll do some double action. Ten rounds, eject it cleanly, no problems whatsoever. Do another ten. There's just two ten in double action. Again, ten rounds. No problem on the ejection whatsoever.
GP100 and 22 caliber is available now on our website. And you can also come shoot in our indoor range. This is part of our rental program. Uh, this gun's available for rent. You get your hands on it, you can come try it before you buy it. As always, we appreciate you guys watching. Like us if you like our videos. And you can find this gun and many other Rugers on our website at kygunco.com.